Hello everyone and welcome to class. Uh, I'm your professor, Matthew O, and today we'll be discussing the four different types of spice. Uh, you may have tried uh, different spices before, different categories of spice, and not realize that they fit into four different types of categories. You may be like, oh, there's, there's, it's spicy, sriracha is spicy, and uh, uh, numbing pepper is spicy or like wasabi is spicy but but what does that mean and where does that come from so that's what today's lecture is going to be about the four different types of spice so here we have the overview and it's very simple it has to do very much with the senses but not not quite we have mouth spice nose spice Tongue spice and throat spice. MNTT. MNTT. You can remember that from MNTT, but there are other names that they go by, and it might help to understand it from those other names because, as it is right now, or as we have dictated it, it may be too general for your, your taste. Um, no pun intended. So, we will go over these into more detail. So, let's, let's start with mouth spice. Um, this is also known as spicy spice. And even though that may sound redundant, that's exactly what it is. It's just spicy. It gives you the pain sensation. And spicy, uh, as a background info, right, we discussed this in a previous lecture. Spicy is just pain. It's, it's not one of the five senses. It's, it's pain. And that's where spice comes from. So we have mouth spice, aka spicy spice. It's just spicy and nothing more. And it includes spices and other spicy sauces. So we have, like, for example, spicy chili pepper or sriracha. These these fit into this category of spicy spice, which is just mouth spice. It's just spicy. There's nothing special about it. It's just spicy. You just taste, you get that sensation, that feeling of hotness and uh, tanginess. You, you don't, there's nothing else going on besides the fact that it's spicy. Now we have a uh, nose spice. This is also called explosion spice, and it's spice that you really feel go up your nose, and it's it's especially prevalent for a very brief period of time. It's very commonly noted as a burst or rather explosion of really hotness, and then all of a sudden it's brought back down to zero almost immediately. It hurts at the moment. But then that moment's over and you feel very relaxed and like you can eat more of it. And so a very, very common example of this is wasabi. Wasabi is probably the easiest way to explain nose spice because it is almost the definition of nose spice. There's also a horseradish, which is pretty similar to, at least I would say, pretty similar to wasabi. And that also can fit into the category of nose spice, which is... Again, explosion spice. You feel that, you feel that go up your nose, right? So, all right, now we get to my favorite, tongue spice. This is also known as numbing spice and originates from Sichuan peppercorn. You, when you taste this spice, you can't taste anything. It's not really, there's no taste to it. It's just a numbing, you feel it on your tongue. It's just a numbing sensation. So, uh, I, I always state my favorite dish, right? If you know me, if you know me well, you know that my favorite dish is uh, mapo tofu, which is numbing meat tofu. And man, it is so good, but it's also spicy, but not spicy in the sense that it's spicy. Now, again, we have to be clear though that these spices can combine. Sometimes spicy spice is tongue spice, the main spice in something like a numbing dish is tongue spice. Tongue spice or numbing spice. So remember tongue spice, numbing spice, and it originates from Sichuan peppercorn. Originates from Sichuan peppercorn. The, the, the original invention of numbing spice originates from Sichuan peppercorn. And it's just a spice where you can't taste anything. All right, and then finally we get into throat spice, which is coughing spice. Um, coughing spice is spice that you feel in the throat and 
like I mentioned earlier, it could also be a result of swallowing a mouth spice incorrectly. Um, oftentimes, it oftentimes it is actually um, you just you're eating something that has a mouth spice and you accidentally swallow it too fast or something or like it's too liquidy. Um, spicy sesame oil is m more likely to give you a throat spice sensation, but it can happen just from swallowing a mouth spice incorrectly. So one quick is two quick examples I would give is uh, pepper. Now you may not think pepper is necessarily spicy, but um, as, as we've done a little bit of research, it actually, there is a level of spice that goes into it. It's just most of the time people don't consume pepper to a, a, a level that could be considered something as a uh, throat spice. But if you, if you, if you eat enough uh, pepper, you will experience the throat spice. Another one that people don't commonly realize that is even spicy to begin with is cinnamon. Spicy is, again, what, like I said, spicy is a pain sensation, right? So if you're eating too much cinnamon and you feel that weird sensation in your throat, there was a thing going around it's called cinnamon challenge. I don't recommend it, but it, it illustrates it pretty well that this is a throat spice. It is a spice because there is pain involved within and that is all that spice is. So a spice that goes to the throat and it could also just be a result of swallowing mouth spice incorrectly. That is what throat spice is. All right, and so now we have a few clicker questions for you. Um, the first one is mouth spice is also what? Uh, what it does, where does tongue spice, sorry, that shouldn't be what, that should be where, where does tongue spice originate from? And what other spice is associated with throat spice? All right, so I'll give you time to go over that and uh, we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> So dumb. 